I hate to work with agency or I had bad experience with working with agency. Hi, my name is Andrei Borchuk and I own and operate email marketing agencies since 2017. In my business uh, journey, I heard a lot from prospect and also from existing clients that they had either bad experience working with agency or they didn't know how to properly pick the email marketing agency for their business. So that's why we decided to create a guide by which criteria you need to select and compare email marketing agency, which will be the best fit for your business. So, but before I start with that, I want to explain when do you need email marketing agency. So based on my experience, there's three scenarios when you need email marketing agency. First, when your business is growing faster, when your business is scaling up fast, you have a momentum and you are not able to hire intern, hire and train the internal team or find the right talents uh, for your marketing channel, like different marketing channels, in this case, email marketing channels. So this is the best time to hire email marketing agency until that time when you ready to a hire and train internal team. Second, some companies like Lavazza, the coffee company, when they operate on US soil, they their company policy to hire only agencies. They do not hire internal because to hire and support internal team, it's very expensive for the company. So that's why it's much cheaper to outsource marketing effort to agencies. And number three, when you do email marketing or you have some team who does email marketing, but you, you had some growth and you had plateau. So in those three cases, it's a great moment to hire email marketing agency. So now I will go through 12 things you need to consider one selected agency and you need to compare apples to apples. That's why we created a comparison chart which you can use when comparing agency. If you do need this chart, uh, this free of charge, just comment on this video uh, and I will send it send it to you. Just comment, why do you need this? Are you selected, uh, like looking for agency or planning to look for agency? And I will share with you this document. Number one, one characteristic for you to understand is specialization uh, of agency. If we're talking in this case about email marketing agency, are they email mar marketing specific agency? or they specialize on all things uh, digital marketing and it's fine it's a fine if they specialize on everything but they need to be decent size so they have to have like 250 employees or 500 uh, employees or even more because it's hard it's, it's extremely hard we are right now a company of 75 we have 75 employees and we focus only on one thing email marketing and I still think we can do even better but it's hard for me to even imagine to start adding the other ser service. If we add other service, I personally believe our email marketing service will suffer. So just pay attention. If it's smaller team under 100 employees, I strongly recommend uh, focus to work only with agency who are extremely specialized on one thing, on niche, only SEO, only email marketing. Number two, do they provide free or paid order or, or discovery? It doesn't matter if it's paid or it's free, like uh, because even paid are, are, are good as well. Don't think free is better or not. In our case, we do provide free audit because this is the way how we attract client. We, what we can do for them, evaluate their account and tell them like, hey, this is what we can improve and this is how much we can improve it. And we believe in our ability to prove our value so clients wants to work with us. But other companies, they are charging for that, which is totally fine. Both, both options are good, but uh, stay away from agency who does not want to do audit or discover and just sell you service. You need to get a taste of how to work with this company before you hire them. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com audit and book your audit 
today. Number three, price. How much do they charge? We have a full guide about email marketing agency pricing, but on average, it should cost between 350 to 750 per email. So the price of their service needs to fit approximately in this, uh, in this range. And the price needs to be clear to you and you need to to clear and understand what does it include. Number four, long-term co contract or money back, back guarantee. So in our agency, we do months to months uh, and our first month is 100% risk-free. So if we work uh, with a client and they don't like, I don't know, they don't like the style how we work or they don't like something, we do the full refund for the first 30 days of work with no question asked. Yes, we would like to know why they're canceling, but we do not argue. Like, you want to cancel? Cancel. And since 2017, we have only one refund, and I'm glad <laughs> that we did it. If agency want only long-term contract, that's fine as well, but there should be a caveat. You need to put a clause that you are able to exit that contract in the first 30 days. You do not want to start long-term contract without knowing how the relationship will go. And the first 30 days, it's a good timeline to test the agency, their structure, how they operate. So either money back guarantee, if it's month, month to two months, or clause in the long-term contract that you can exit that contract before the long-term, like 12 months kicks in. Number five, do they have dedicated team that will be working on, on your account? And what do I mean by that? So do they have like project manager or account manager, copywriter, designer, uh, technicians who will be assigned to your account and they will be working specifically on your account. Yes, they will have other projects, but only this team will be working on your account. Not They will not rotate constantly the talents on your project because when that rotation happens, uh, they need to learn new things about your brand, relearn how, how we do things in your business and so forth. So you need to understand if the agency will assign the dedicated team to you, to your brand or not. Number six, agency size and structure. If you work with small, smaller agency, let's say five employees, 10 employees, even up to 20 employees, uh, you are risking that somebody will get sick or something will happen with the agency and uh, there will be delays in your service for days, weeks, and sometimes even months. And also you need to understand that organizational structure of that company. How many layers do, do they have? Do you work strictly directly with the, uh, the founder of the agency, with the CEO? If yes, it might be a red flag. That agency might cost you cheaper, but the red flag is if that guy or gal will um, get sick, what will happen then next? So if you have a company who is like, let's say 30, 40, uh, 30, 50, 60 and more employees, there's uh, more structure, more layers, and there's a more backup. So if somebody gets sick, there's another person. If there's a, that person gets sick, there's another person. So there's like, you are distributing your, your risk and minimalizing your risk for not getting job done. Number seven, there's bunch of agency which white label. What does it mean? So they sell you service and they pretend they will be doing this, but somebody else doing uh, doing the actual work. Either they hire a bunch of freelancer who will do it, or they hire another agency who will be working on your account. So you just need to ask. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to, they can lie to you and there's no way to check it, but it's good to ask that question and have that conversation. Hey, is it your team? Is it internal team will be working on my account or there's some other contractor or uh, outsource agency who will be working on my account? Since we are talking about email marketing, do they have certification in your ESP? So like if you use HubSpot, Salesforce, MailChimp, Klaviyo, are they certified in this particular software or are they partnered with that software? Because even to become partner, you need to get certification. To get certification, you need to go through training and to pass some test requirements. So this is uh, also an important thing to consider. Number nine, reviews. I'm not sure about you, but me, even when I buy $5 product, this is new product for me on Amazon, I check reviews. Like, and sometimes 
I remember I bought the um, iPhone cable so and I paid I believe four dollars more from the uh, the cheapest one and the cheapest one was like around five dollars I paid nine why because the nine one had more reviews positive reviews and I I trusted that user generated uh, like content reviews that that product is much better than a cheaper one so it's important for you to, to to google to google the agency agency name and add a word review and see what people are saying about that uh the, the agency yes there's might be chances that that agency manipulated reviews by asking friends and family to leave a review but those one is extremely easy to spot read through your reviews and make your decision if it's a good okay or bad uh, reputation number 10 ask for references even when you don't call those references ask if they can provide reference if they said yes this is kind of check mark if you want to go extra mile tell them to introduce to that person or tell them to give you their phone number to call and ask a reference from the past clients or existing clients number 11 expertise are they experts in the industry google their name founders name google the 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 company name are are they speaker on different events do they have some kind of youtube channel podcast do they blog about their experience do, do they share check their linkedin profile so just to understand if they are expert in the industry because you might find interesting thing maybe yesterday they were real estate agent and today they start i don't know Facebook advertising so and it doesn't mean it's a bad thing you just need to ask them follow-up question and understand that transition between one profession to another and how did they get experience being agency owner and running at Facebook ads for example and number 12 is case studies or example of work sometimes we are busy agency owners and agencies like we are busy doing projects and we don't have time to go back and create a case study so it's fine if they don't have case study it's it's better to work with agency who can prove that they can deliver but if they don't have a case studies ask them for some kind of examples of work so in this case for email marketing ask them for design email designs ask them for brand they work with try to subscribe to those email uh, companies and see what kind of emails you receive and also ask for email copy yeah so those are 12 steps you should consider when hiring uh, email marketing agency if you have any additional questions please leave them under uh, this video below and also if you want that comparison chart also please uh, comment below that why you want this and i'll share it with you totally for free stay tuned for the next thursday for another valuable video about email marketing